All right. Shalom, brothers. First off, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha'araka Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and the elders, a great millstone who rule well and teach well. All right. My name is Brother Hawa Shai Zion, and I'm coming through with a message uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. So, I want to focus in and zero in on this scripture here, John 13 and 35. It says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Okay, so it's that selfless love, brothers. Um, the word there is, okay, G to six and that is agape agape all right so it says affection goodwill love benevolence uh, brotherly love okay charitably with charity feast of charity all right so there's affection or benevolence especially plural uh festival or charity charitably all right. So that that's what that's about. Selfless. Okay, to be selfless, to prefer another over yourself. Um you know, so to speak. And that's what, you know, the Lord said in other verses of scriptures, you know, um you know, greater love have no man than he that lays his life down for his friends. He also said in another verse of scripture right here, John 14 and 15, if ye love me, keep my commandments. A part of the commandments, you know, obviously is loving thy neighbor as you love yourself. So what, what does this mean? You know, what? well, frankly, simply put, you want to say use common sense um, in regards to a lot of things especially with what happened yesterday with the comment board. All right, now the reason I bring that out is to say this. Before you make a move, ask a question or do something. One, uh, re try to research it in the scriptures. Two, try to find the answer yourself first and foremost, okay? The scripture says, study to show thyself approved unto the Lord, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. So I guess here, you know, the connotation of the video, because I'm just doing this in a spiritual manner. You know, if you really love a brother, you will try your best to alleviate the burden off of that brother, you know. So rather than me just pour out and give you information. One, try to look it up yourself. If you're completely stumped, you know, and it's like I said last night, it's on a breakdown or something to that nature, and you really need help breaking down a scripture, well, that's understandable to go and ask for help. And if you don't have any other channels to ask for help, and you've exhausted all your resources, and you just, you know, you just don't know where to look, well, then I guess you would ask, but bear in mind, you know, to be considerate, you know, of the particular video that's being brought out. Okay. It all comes down to respect. All right. And if you, you know, have love one for another and have love for the brother, you know, you would try to keep the video, the, the comments structured orderly towards the topic of the video. Um, you don't want to throw off the spirit, you know, as there's actually this, this uh, let me see, quench or not, let me see if I can find this, quench not the spirit, so, okay, quench, this is the word for quench in the Greek, G4570. To extinguish, quench uh, a fire or things on fire. Right. So if a brother's on fire, put his scriptures, 
and he's making a point or like like a class is being taught and a point is being made you don't interrupt the classroom uh, while the speaker's talking and ask something totally irrelevant or off topic you see because the spirit of the lord works through each brother so it works through me it works through the brothers um you know in in my camp and the brothers you know across the the world in their particular camps and the elders and apostles of great millstone you know and and all around so if they're on a particular topic in a video you know it it would behoove me to keep that spirit uh going you know and fan the flame to make it brighter or add to you know and be careful how i add to the scripture that pertains to the topic you know for further edification all right um if i was to make a contribution i try to limit my comments i really do i used to make frequent comments um but it just you know just the difference in uh spiritual growth i guess you know every, everybody's different in that res regard but nonetheless keep the comment centered towards you know what what the video is about for edification so we don't quench the spirit we don't extinguish the flame that's that's burning in that particular brother because remember the scriptures talk about you know a candle not being put behind a bushel and um you know we each have light that shines from us and illuminates and um you know if we're if we're going in on a particular topic or you know going in on something it would be best to just kind of you know follow suit you know like if we're dancing a two-step and if this was say if this was dance class you're gonna just go along with the steps you know and just try to keep the rhythm uh, you don't start doing a moonwalk while everybody's doing a two-step or a three-step or whatever it is. You know, I'm just throwing that out there as a comparison. So, um, metaphor says to quench, to suppress, stifle. Okay. And it says of divine influence also. So, yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to stifle the spirit. All right. Of the Lord because this this is not that's not good man that's not good so it's all about having brotherly love okay verse 20 despise this is first thessalonians 5 and 19 quench not the spirit it says despise not prophesying prove all things hold fast that which is good and it also says abstain from all appearance of evil it says and the very power of peace sanctify you wholly and i pray the heavenly father uh your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our lord yahweh hamashiach okay that's right man because you know we are in the year of hastening the coming of yahweh yahweh okay or of yahweh rather and you know we see these wars going on or rumors of wars and the fighting that's going on almost full-scale war out there in the middle east and these are signs of uh the lord's coming you know matthew 24 so even more so to the point akium out there my precious akium out there all right who are sincere who really truly care about this this wisdom uh and knowledge that we provide through the spirit and power of yahweh the heavenly father and yahweh shai the, the only begotten and beloved son of the lord you know we must in these times be diligent and be careful um what we do all right be circumspect and prudent which means to be carefully wise okay you have to be carefully wise about how we do what we do all right so yeah you need to be preserved blameless you know let me see if i can 
um, uh, get that actually get some scriptures on this all right Romans chapter 15 and 5 it says now the power of patience and consolation which God means power it says of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another according to Yahweh Shai Hamashiach a very powerful man you know we have to be like-minded towards one another all right so we all should have the same mind in respect should have respect it's not because you see when we're in oh he's in the truth so he's just bound to uh to my will you know he he's here to just be run over by me because i i just have a question and my question is going to get answered regardless which was the connotation of the comment last night you know that got rebuked because you know not to keep harping on that but it's just edifying to to let it be known you know that you know this this truth is centered around love towards one another and that is not being just kindly affectioned but selfless so we have to not worry about you know us specifically it pertains to the um rather when pertaining to the brotherhood okay we have to prefer one another over each ourselves man all right as the scriptures say let me see if i can get that okay there it goes here first timothy 5 and 21 i charge thee there uh before the heavenly father and the lord yahweh shai hamashiach and the elect angels that thou observe these things without it says preferring one before another doing nothing oh whoops salakia that's uh romans 12 and 10 that's the one i'm looking at it says romans 12 and 10 be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another okay let's get that scripture man real quick okay the word for preferring to go before and show the way to go before and lead to go before as a leader to lead the way for others show deference prefer okay powerful man so we have to go before and show the way to go before and lead to go before as a leader to be a to literally uh you know show the brother the way man be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love and honor uh and it really should be leading one another you know but preferring one another all right not slothful in business fervent in spirit serving the lord and we have to pray for one another too brothers you know not for nothing you know, and some guy said he called the guy a two-third. Um, just so you know, man, you you know, the guy who made that comment, you might be a two-third. You know, you got to be really humble, man, and, and understand this thing is about humility. And I said, not necessarily. I said, don't count that guy out specifically yet. Just because the scriptures say to reject him because you had, you know, uh, you know, told him once he didn't get it came back with a snappy comment you know um and then the second time it is what it is 